Welcome to Dyson Sphere, my name is Neil Aust and this is episode 10 of our Let's Play campaign and thank you very much everyone for following. We're just going to take a cruise over the planet and just have a look at how awesome it is. And uh, we are going to start by crash landing as always. So let's start by, um, by talking a bit about the plans for today. So first I think I might be addressing a few comments from the previous episode. One was like, oh, it looks like your towers are blocking. That's actually not the case. If you look down here, it's polar night. So it's the middle of the middle of the winter. And that's why only one can actually shoot because it has like a high angle. It shoots right there at the top of that one. But uh, this one round is not working. And apparently the whole thing that goes the other way is apparently disabled right now. So it's not blocking this. Uh, I really love all the good comments about my mushroom cloud here. I, I love it. I love it. Absolutely. So um, yeah, what are we going to do today? Well, as I mentioned last time, we are going to take a look further into the research tree, the gas giant exploration exploitation. So that means we need some orbital collectors. Now, what do we have for these orbital collectors that we do have some we do have the logistics station, the interplanetary one. We got that. We even got it automated. And those uh, super magnetic rings are super, super awful. They're really difficult to get, and I'm using all of them. So yeah, it's actually the electromagnetic turbines that I'm using all of. So it's going to be a bit of an issue to get those. Uh, 20 of the heavy rockets, that's cool. We get those. And then 20 accumulators that are charged. So if I want to make 40 of these, then I need 800 accumulators. That's not something we're going to wait for. But what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at our lava planet so we can look at the accumulators. Let's have a look at the uh, accumulators that should be down here with energy storage. Let's see what it takes. It takes some iron plates. It takes some of the super magnetic rings again, and it takes four of these uh, diamonds, green diamonds. They come from silicon. So that's why we need to go to the lava planet because we can't build it here. Technically, we could actually build it here because we are bringing the plates here. So we could do it here. But you know, I want to uh, to go to the lava planet and just to set up some things there. So that's uh, basically what the plan is for now. And also just uh, a comment about the stuff up on this end. Uh, here are the fractionators, fractionators. And I am not having these activated because I want to take a screenshot for the thumbnails. Uh, this is not working right now. Why is it not working? It's we're not working because it's simply run out. I mean, it's run full here. So we can keep doing this part and just link one more of these over here what collide with what and we can just get that oh no oh no that's bad uh okay never mind and um, we're gonna take come on here and we can then take from here oh from this one into that one and then we have to go up here and into, come on, you can do it, and to that one. Then I can go out. There we go. So it should now get started again. And yeah, oh, right. We can actually, because we have a bit more research, we can, oh, a lack of item. Doesn't matter. We have a, a bit more storage here and these are working. We could enable some research. There's a, still a few upgrades that we're missing. We don't have. Let's see, go through it just to see uh, that one we can do. It's just a mecha run speed, it's a mecha run speed, but no more mecha run speed. And what are they missing? They're missing mecha level four. I like that way of gating it. It's, it's a simple way of gating it, just going like, well, that's not meant for now. That's more stacking, more stacking. That can go really, really quick. That one can't do. Yeah, so there's not a lot of things we can do at this point. The next one we really want to do is the mecha here and that one. Okay, so those are the last upgrades we can do. That's going to be fine. So what we want to do is we want to head over to our second planet, our lava planet, and take a look at that. So let's uh, fly on over. Uh, where are we at? Um, I lost the sun. There we go. Maybe it's nighttime. That's why I can't see the sun, right? All right, cool. So let's uh, set our course for this one and jump over there. And we are now coming up to our little lava planet. And let's see we, what we can hit. Boom, everything. All right, so we're here and I have some big plans for this planet, absolutely. But I don't think we're gonna do it right now. Uh, what we are going to do is just trying to figure out what's what here. And for example, nope, uh, that one. 
we're gonna get some of this we are always gonna need that and what we want to do now is there we go we have some silicon here so we want to find some silicon and the purpose of this location is oh I wonder if we actually have enough of oh, 175 okay so the purpose of this build there we go is going to make let's recap that over here it is for we want to make well the long th story is we want to make orbital collectors in order to make orbital collectors we need accumulators click it click nope i can't do that i can click the empty ones if you want to make uh the accum the sorry click these on the orbital collectors now in order to make accumulators i need to silicon crystals silicon crystals comes from this one and silicon crystals comes from the silicon plates so i think i want to start by actually mining some more silicon and we have a little location here if we look at our planet then we can see it only has 800,000 silicon so that's not actually great can i just keep zooming out and then looking further out for sagittary 4 that's the one this is going to be our next thing what does that one have it has low solar low wind that's not good lots of construction area water no special resource this is an absolutely horrible planet it has orbital inclination is pretty much nothing so actual inclination is also nothing so it's pretty stable in that regard it doesn't have any copper though lots of silicon lots and lots of titanium but it's not a great planet let's be honest this is not a great planet so um yeah silicon is not that's the good thing about that is it forces us to consider sort of the expansion into the greater galaxy or sort of let's, start, let's call it a star cluster instead it's more of a star cluster not not quite a galaxy but you know and this one i've become a lot less uh, careful about this and just hook something up because we just um, we just need it and i'm gonna put it into a box and let's see where do we have the fault lines i love that the word fault line is catching on um we have a fault line up here and the other one is down there so that all of that area is good for us to build in so i'm gonna build it right there good and for that i mean we are going to hook up them all right so we're going to continue this way and i'm just going to make some concrete first some concrete and then we're going to make some smelting things what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pave the world here just so we get a good sense of what we have and i'm going to pave it all the way up to my fault line so i have a pretty good idea about where i am it's a lot of stone you could mine manu manually mine if you really felt so inclined i don't there I like having it to clean these boxes here. There we go. That looks good. And that's going to be our construction area. Basically, what we want to do is just take inbound. Let's actually check it. <clears throat> this is two per two seconds, so it's one per second. And it outputs one every two seconds. Let's see if that goes into a reasonable ratio here. I'm pretty sure it does. It takes one every two seconds. So that is a perfect ratio. That means we can actually do something like that one is going to go straight in and that would mean we would want here and that one could be over here and then I can take these out funny how I, I now tend to walk there there we go and I'm going to take this on the outside that can be about two belts then here and on that side it's also going to be super easy to do there we go so that's going to be our build and how long we want it i don't know we can take 50 this is just not really getting a lot but we can also tap in more i think i'm going to do this one and yeah you know you know what the drill is we'll i'll see you when this is done And that's the power poles that's everything I'll, sorry that's everything but the power poles so let's grab those and i think that should be fine so we'll go this and for the people who are asking why i'm not using the satellite power um i don't know if that's called satellite power probably not but uh, i'm not using it because it is a bit outside reach for us tech wise i have like one of these that's super awesome but that one we have well yeah kind of and we have some frame material Frame material requires nanotubes, and I don't have those. I don't. Need, I can't even craft it. So, yeah. So that's um, 
That's the reason why that's not happening. And I'm gonna have to take my crystals are coming inbound and that's gonna be a local supply and a global supply or remote supply. Great, so that's uh, basically what we want here. I wish I had a few of these, I did. And I wish I had a few of these, there we go, 50. That's a bit much, but I don't really care if we put too many into this. So basically what we have now is we have these crystals. I think I actually want to bring them back to the original planet. Let me just see what I'm missing to build these. And I have one. What is it? What are we missing? Oh, the turbines, the damn turbines. Yeah, turbines are gonna be like a big issue for everything. I wanna build like a turbine factory on this planet just because, but that's, uh, <clears throat> this is a good thing. The, what we want to do at this point is look to the horizon, look to the stars and uh, find our way back. It's Kappa two and Kappa three. So let's, uh, whoops, <laughs> that was a mediocre jump. And let's go into the void and let's jump back. And when we're back, we can actually have a look at it, start consuming it. And we are coming home. There we go, the slight stutter when it transitions to actually. In it. <clears throat> so we're back home and what is the purpose of us being home? Well, we're gonna need to find a space somewhere on this uh, <laughs> kind of crowded location. Uh, the thing is like, we have so much junk on this location. Like, just example, what the hell is all of this crap? Like, someone really should put an effort into just cleaning up. I mean, who needs thermal power plants these days? Oh, by the way, that's actually great, because now I found a space where we can build it. Ah, nice, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build it here. All right, jump down, and let's build it right here. There we go, and yeah. So let's just uh, spam some Oh, four. That's actually not the biggest deal because you can see that it's actually already done. So shouldn't take much just to convert it. Again, a bit sloppy on the execution here. Let's go all the way over here. And there. That should be a good area. What we do we want what we want to do here is I want to make one of these locations. Yes. And uh, that's just going to be here. So what is it we want to do? Uh, we want to request. We want to request the things that we need. And first of all, we need to figure out. It, we want to make accumulators here. So let's make accumulators. If we want to make accumulators, we need iron. Yep. The bluish thing. Yes. <laughs> the superconductor ring and some crystals remotely yep so iron is easy there and the crystal things easy and then these super magnetic rings we need to do something better about that and then i will have at this point i'll have some empty i don't really like having the empty ones here mm, maybe i don't want to store the empty ones Maybe I only want to... No, I don't, I don't really know. I, I don't want us to leave this empty because if this one is making a, making this, then I could foresee a world where I would want to request it in here. Yeah, I could see that. Things go out. Yeah, do I, do I like that? I don't know. Here and take those 10 here. So at least they're ready. Flying out. And I am going to, this should be nearby. This should be pretty far away. So let's uh, request some. And then we have to, this one is close. So none of that. I don't want to deal with that local, uh, globally. This one should provide it globally. No, it should not. It might even demand it globally. It might even, but I'm not gonna do that now. Uh, local supply, good. And I'm keep this open for potential warpers in the future. After oh, that one is there, and that one is also there, makes perfect sense. All right, so these are now active and alive. And what is it we want to make? We want to make a simple building. Again, accumulators six, six, and four. So it's actually quite a lot. So what if I just take? I can just take belts out like this. Yeah. And yeah, and we need to make some accumulators. The one thing, though, uh, 
do I want to get that? I'm, I'm really in doubt about how I want to do it because on the one hand, I want to be able to request this. If, I, if I'm if i saying, imagine that the third planet, I'm going to export a full accumulators. Yeah. So they will come in here and I should only make sure that I chop up the production. So I think there might be a point to this. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. I kind of got an idea now. One. And this is now making empty accumulators because I don't want to continue to make accumulators if I don't need them. That means I don't. I need to output them to a belt that's already full. That's on a five second cycle. So if you get five of those, then I think that's going to be fine. Then it's meant one per second. I think for now that's going to be enough. But later on, it might be something we wanted to extend. But one per second, and I'm going to need 800 of those. So that's 800 seconds. That's not so much. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get something else. So this one will actually go out. And that means when these ones export out onto this belt, they cannot do that if there's something flowing. And there's something flowing here if we have enough in the network that we are requesting from a secondary planet, some empty accumulators, and they're going in. I will explain a bit more detail about how I want how this is going to work. Uh, there's going to be five. I can also make ten on the side, I guess. So this one goes here for the empty ones. And I'm going to make right this location also to fill it up. I should have some over here. Should have some of these. There we go. Thank you. It's very, very simple to get this by now because now it's automated. And that's the why you automate everything in this game. If you don't automate it, you, you're just ending up this handcrafting 20 of them and go like, damn it, why didn't I spend the time automating at the beginning? So does this seem like enough space? I'd like to have room for 10 in between. It's not a big deal, is it? I can squeeze this one a bit more to this way. Yeah, you know what? I can also get to 10 by putting it on the other side. I don't want to do that. All right, so let's see. That would, could be one more and two more and three more. And then this one has to go away. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it. Nine. 10. So now they are, there's actually no space in between. And let's try this one. Okay, yep, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. And we're gonna get it in here. Are we? No, we're not. It's <laughs> definitely not going in there. <clears throat> oh yes, it is, because this is where the empty ones are being sent to they're gonna be sent straight through it probably shouldn't be here though this is just gonna be a pass-through which is actually something I shouldn't be doing okay so pass-through here and now we need to build some of these things an energy exchanger i promised i would also explain what these do so uh let's build one and then uh, see if we can figure out what it does oh nothing yet nothing yet so this has three settings it can discharge that means it takes a full in and puts the power into the network it can go idle that's what it starts out or it can do a charge and that means it takes power from the network and puts it into an empty accumulator making it a full accumulator that's the one we're going to use. So it goes in here and um, I wonder which way it goes out. Huh. Can I... S s oh, I guess that might be just uh, depending on the belt. And actually that's not going to work because I'm going to have more of those. Yeah, so I'm going to take this out here. That's going to go sort of back-ish. I mean, I'm, I'm, the more I think about this, the less likely I think this makes sense. And then I'm going to go to my mushroom cloud here. And one of these should have what I need. Oops. Ships and that one. And that's the one. Ta-da. We have 100 of these. I don't want 100 of them. 
I think I want like nine plus the one I have. Sweet. That is an obscene amount of items we've created now. Yeah, I can't build 100. Or I can't build 10, but we can build some. What? Collide with other object. Really? Oh, they're too big for this? Wow. Huh. They could be out here, right? Yeah, they could be out there. Oh, that makes me not want to do this. That makes me not want to do this. Yep. Since it takes so much space, I think we're going to have to find another way. That other way is going back. All right. Let me uh, build this. Also hook it up with insert assemblers. Uh, inserters. Once we have that, uh, then I will we'll stop requesting and then we'll see where we go from here. Cool. All right. So this is ready. We are now going to request some things. I'm also I'm always just putting maximum in here because why not? This one will be a local demand. Thank you very much. This will be a local remote demand and this one will be a local demand fingers crossed do i get any that's the one and this one will be a local supply okay so we're gonna see that this one is operating and damn we just love to see that look at that just these 10 flights coming out i love this part oh man and look at that we've got stuff what is this one going uh that's yeah, it's requesting a lot of iron because now we lost all of the turbines. So we need to scale up the turbines for sure. They're coming in already. Things are moving in. And let's have a look on the belts. Yep, there are some things working. That is the most precious of the items here. Yeah? Yep, it is. <laughs> Funny how that was the first one. Uh, obviously, that's going to take a while to get in. And okay, they're still keeping up. That's great. <clears throat> and the iron is taking a bit longer to get here. But, uh, you know, I'll just help it out. What about those? I didn't pick up anyone to go with us, so we are going to have to wait until that comes back. So let's wait a bit until we got our interplanetary deliveries coming back. And here they are. They're actually already coming back. That's super quick. And we should see these producing. All right, they are. Okay, I don't think I want 10,000. Uh, I'm sure I need a lot, but since they are using the, uh, the super magnetic ring that I'm very very short on i'm actually gonna make you with just 200 2000 although i need to make i need to make 800 of these and charge them so what uh, that's gonna take a while what we will do though is we're gonna find another place that has a bit more space and we're gonna use that for the charging thing i don't know exactly where but we want to do it maybe maybe here if we look at the fault lines and stuff and it doesn't have as much but oh i actually wanted to, to make quote closer to equator so we have a bit more space. I will just go here. Let's uh, let's take this random location. That seems like a good place. And it also gives us some pi soil piles when we are claiming it. All right, let's prepare this location. Actually, I don't need to build much. I just need to get it started like this. And then we can explain how they work, these charging things. Are they over here? Yeah, they are. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if... How do I want to make it? I think I want an outbound and an inbound side. So like... Uh, yes. I want to make it just on one side and the other side. Okay, so let's just make it right down the middle. There. And there. So that's why we wanted to do it like this. Alright, we'll just build a few. And I am going to... Get a bit more space here that one so we get a logistics location and look how easy it is now that I just if I need a logistics I just take it because I don't care <laughs> I have it I have them available I have as many as I like this one will do empty and full the idea is basically that it will globally supply these it'll globally demand those and also locally we're not gonna do that yet though um, just make sure that we don't do anything silly and this one will be the Output will go down the side, and let's make sure that we have some splitters there, there, and there. This is going to be absolutely beautiful, and I hope this works. Lack of item. You're kidding me! I'm lack of item. Uh, can I just handcraft a few? Because that's. Don't bother going back. Nope. Alright, I am going back. BRB. 
So while I was out getting those, I also decided to uh, pave the world here, so we are good to go. Let's uh, so we can actually get more. I want ten of those. I said. I don't know if 10 is a ridiculous amount. It probably is, but it's going to look good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Except that one's not kicked up. Yes. All right, this is going to look really, really nice. So let's uh, just hook up one of them and just explain what it actually does as we set it up. So the idea here is that this one will be charging. That means it's going to be opening up and getting some power, taking some power. It probably needs to be hooked up to the power grid though. Otherwise it's, my guess is it's not working very well. Oops, no, too close. And that one will go here. So that will now be charged. Now this is there, fills up the charge. Now it's ready to take one in and go out. And if I take from here, a local, I'm not going to provide them here. This one will be local demand. I should just take 2000 in because it's not actually very far. We get it. And I'm going to take that one. Good. Do I also want to put some of these? I think actually I do because I want to provide these globally. So for another planet, I want to be able to send them out. And 10,000, that's a bit much right now. I know I will get 10,000 and probably more, but let's just get a few. We need 800 of these for our orbital collectors. As soon as we have them here, we'll, they'll be sent to our orbital collectors. I'll switch this to local demand and we'll see that they'll fly out, grabbing them. And I can, in the meantime, just try to hook up the lines here. And at least for the first one, there. Hopefully it works like this. I have no idea, not try it. Well, kind of tried it, but let's see if it works. And then we can hook it on to the other ones while we wait for the robots to come in. There we go, it's getting one. Uh, stuff. Oh, there we go. I don't. Oh, it's this one, right? This one, yeah. Okay, there we go. So it fills up, boom, and then it takes it out. Fills up, pushes out. Fills up, push out. And then we get one. So we need to make 800 of these. So I'm just gonna hook this one up. And once we have hooked this up, we can actually convert them at a ridiculous pace. And that means our solar ring here is finally gonna be useful for something because it'll actually be storing power that we can then just ship to another planet and then we can use the discharge here to actually uh, get it out again i think that's it's a super super awesome idea of shipping power like that here and here and here there i love that it gives me my uh, Give me the, the tool tip. All right, let me just hook up and then I'll see you in a bit. And now they're opening. I'm gonna do it this way because it looks good. Going down it like this. Here. And we're just getting all these out. It's very nice that it doesn't require sorters. More things should be able to feed directly in here. That would be really lovely. That would be much easier because the belt mechanic is actually really, really nice. Uh, the solder mechanic, uh, it could, uh, it, it's not very friendly to, to to your arms and legs. To, well, mainly the arms though, and your hands. So it's a bit rough on the repetition. Bit understatement. There we go. So now we are charging at pretty good rate. How long does this even take? I have no idea how long it takes. Three seconds, I guess, maybe? Maybe, let's say three seconds or something. And I have 10, so I will do three per second. So what I need now is uh, they are actually already being shipped up. And if I am not mistaken, I am gonna see these being shipped up to our, nope, not that one. We're gonna go to here. And that one. And we should get some orbitals, orbital locations now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that's actually that one. All right. So this one is working. Now I need to wait until 40 of these are crafted. There's two. And we're not gonna sit around here. So I'm gonna come back when there's 40 of these. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do some industry things on my second planet. And uh, so yeah, I'll be back in a bit.
And we're back. We are. We had a bit of a sulfur, a sulfuric acid issue, and that has slowed down the production of the titanium alloy. And yeah, the reason why, the reason was that I had a large stockpile of hydrogen that had not been put into the into the network. So suddenly my graphene production had stalled and all that stuff. So I had to just kickstart it a bit. But that also means we are not having. A, we have a twenty of these, not forty. So we're gonna take those. 20 and be happy with it what we're gonna do now is gonna be super amazing i hope we are gonna go take a look at our gas giant so we're gonna go just smash into the gas giant as close to the equator as possible that's where we can do the pickup things okay and then we have to go here and then we'll this is the only thing you can place and you can only place it on the equator so that was uh, not just a bit lucky but extremely lucky that we did this so I am going to boom there and then I can't build it here but I can build the next one here and the way they work is let's just have this one it looks super cool look at that so they just suck up all the gas in here and that will give us some sugar cubes or fire ice which is easy 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 to make graphene and then some hydrogen They'll burn off some of this in order to sort of keep going, but they don't need power. They are completely self-sufficient here. And what we then need to do is uh, just go up. I can't go... If I go into sailing mode... See, I'm going to move really slow. This this kind of seems a bit like it's not quite sort of done yet, because now this looks like we're playing Tron. There we go. And actually, it does look like we're playing Tron. And... So the whole thing about the size of these and the gigantic nature of this uh, <laughs> this planet and the fact that I can't see anything except when I'm in construction mode, it's, it feels a bit wonky. But with this done, each of these will produce 0 0.56 as fire eyes per second. And it's, that doesn't seem like much, but it's, it is actually... When we just add 20 of these here and we can just send uh, keep sending things coming in here just to pick those up logistics vessel will go in here and just pick up as many as you like from this and that will help us make the graphene in a very very simple way so these are super complicated to make and this is why i did this stuff last time with automating it because man handcrafting this don't do it just don't do it you set it up automatic even if you have to bring in the materials just just like i did how many we got we got six left so this one will give us what is that like 11 fire eyes per second that's that's a lot actually 11 fire eyes that means that's 11 graphene per second and we're probably not going to be doing a lot of it that means i can actually free up my sulfur sulfuric acid to do something else and just be available for for example the metal alloy instead of using it for the very complex graphene build so what we're going to do is we are going to put this one and then we are going to go to our lava planet and just request it there i'm not going to build oh oh hey robots uh robots oops yeah i mean i got a bit carried away they i forgot how slow they are <laughs> to build these things damn but man it looks good i don't know this is if i took this as a screenshot it would just it would just be a construction boat here mm. oh no no i can't do it i can't go back into that mode because I don't have oh there we go this looks so cool but my robots are gone, oh there's my robot was one of them yay, go build it <laughs> everything here is just the grand the scale of things is so big alright, we are on the light side we're looking good, and we got there's one, there's another one, and it pops out and we're gonna go ahead over here and see if I can get mine mine to pop up. And there we go, little drone. All right, so we are getting something. So we're actually, I think we're actually gonna wrap this one up here because I wanted to get the corp orbital collectors. And just as you see here, it just starts accruing. It's not much, but it's just remote supply. And then we've actually set it up. So next time we're gonna go. Uh, redo our graphene builds and we're also going to be showing some really cool things in on my level planet i have some ideas for some uh, some overhauls that we're going to take a look at and yeah so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it so we did uh, go through the accumulators the power exchanger and the orbital 
Optical collector, how to build it, how to fly here. It's super. Well, if you land on the planet, you can't find the equator. Look at this number, the top number here. When you go closer to the equator, it goes towards zero, and then on the other way, it goes there. So wherever you are on the planet, if you can't really see where the curvature is or where they they get smaller, then just look at that number and go towards zero. Very good trick. Cool. So we have uh, 20 of these set up soon. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, hit the like button. And uh, if you have some ideas for what is next, then uh, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, of course, if you are new to the channel, then uh, consider subscribing so my videos will pop up in your, your recommended feed from time to time. And that I know that this is something you are enjoying. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys either on Twitch or here on YouTube. Until then, take care and stay effective.